Hi, welcome to my recovery workout series. This is the Pilates video. Um, it's going to be a short little uh, Pilates reminder so that you don't forget um, and you don't lose your core strength while I am recovering. So we're going to start with um, just a quick breathing exercise and connecting the breath to the body, a few leg circles, and then we're going to get right down to business. So I'm going to turn to the side. This is the slowest part of the workout, so we're just going to take a deep breath in. You're going to arch your back. You're going to find a space right here between you and the floor, and then you're going to exhale, drawing your belly button in, pressing the back to the mat. I'm going to do a few of those. You're going to start with your palms up. You want to make sure that you are connecting your breath with your body, and as you exhale, you breathe all the tension away from your body. You want to get your shoulders away from your ears. You want to shake out any tension that might be in the shoulders, jaw, neck, anywhere that you might hold your tension. And exhale and bring the belly in and the back to the mat. And one more time. You're going to open your arms up, straighten your legs. You're going to lift one leg up and you're going to do little circles. And what this does is it opens up your hips. It lengthens your legs. You'll see in a second. <clears throat> We're just warming up real quick. Other direction. Make sure you're connecting your belly to your uh, breath and you're using the core strength to move the leg. Now, wide circles. Change directions. And you'll find even this quick little warm-up after doing a few circles, when you put your legs down right here, that leg is going to feel longer than the other, which is cool. Now, this is my bad leg, so I'm not sure how graceful it's going to look. <laughs> and small circles the other way. And wide sweeping circles. Belly in. Let the belly control the movement and switch directions and place the leg down. Okay, we're going to draw the knees up into tabletop right here. You're going to grab one knee with two hands and we're going to extend the legs out. Let me just scooch back a little here. Extend the legs out, keeping this leg in tabletop, nose to the knee, and we're going to switch. Just take deep breaths. Make sure that your back is still pressed to the mat. And now you're going to hold one knee right here. If you need to put your hands behind your head or your head down, please do so. Pulse it right here. Again, belly controls the movement. Make sure that you're pressing your back into the mat, not straining your back. And you're going to lift this leg up and down. Remember, if your neck feels straight, put it down or take the hand behind your head like this. And hold the leg here. And you're going to sweep it right here. Now, if you need to have a little break in between these three exercises, you can hit pause at any time and then continue on with me. And switch. Head down for just a moment. Exhale up and pulse. Deep breaths. Make sure you're pressing your back into the mat. Leg is in tabletop position. And lift it up and down. little sweeps. Bring both knees in and roll back. At any time you can bring the knees to the chest or roll side to side to stretch your back. <clears throat> We're going to bring our, knees, our nose to our knees. 
We're going to extend both legs out and swoop them around. So this is your double leg stretch. If you need to keep your head on the floor, you can. Two more. One more. And rest. I'm moving pretty quickly here because I don't want to take up a lot of your time. But if you need to slow down, just press pause. No problem. Arms out to the side. Knees bent or straight. I'm going to be somewhere in the middle just because of my leg. And you're going to lower, um, palms are down. You're going to lower your legs to one side on an inhale. Don't let them touch the ground. Exhale and lift all the way up and over. This is the windmill. Remember, inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. That breath will help you lift up to center, allowing the core to have a lot of control. If your knees are bent, just try and keep them in tabletop. You don't want to bring them too far into your chest. One more to the other side. And knees into the chest. And we're going to go right into the 100. If you are unfamiliar with the 100, if you're not in my class and you happen to be doing this video, um, there are about four different places you can place your feet. You can be right here. You can keep them in tabletop. You can take them straight up. Or the hardest one is the 45 degree angle. Your arms are doing this, your head is up, and that's where we're at. Now, because I'll be counting and I can't remind you throughout the exercise, remember to breathe deeply, in, exhale nice and slow out for the five counts and keep your belly connected to your back, the back pressed into the mat. Okay, so most of us will start in tabletop right here on an inhale and we're going to exhale into our position. So inhale, exhale into your position and in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, ten, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, twenty, in two, three, Four, five, exhale two, three, four, thirty, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, forty, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, fifty, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, sixty, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, seventy, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, eighty, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, ninety, inhale two, Three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Excellent job. Deep breaths. Feet flat on the floor, palms up. Take an inhale. Exhale, press your back to the mat. Imprint, it's called imprinting your spine. And then relax into neutral spine. <clears throat> Excellent. So moving on. We're going to do a few roll-ups. I'm going to turn, face the camera on, on, straight legs, arms up, inhale, exhale, up. I'm going to reach up and over the feet, and then roll slowly down, resisting the um, gravitational pressure to pull shoot out. Right there. Take your time. Inhale, exhale, up. And again, whoops, see that's what happens when you don't breathe properly. And you're going to stay up. So I'm going to switch back. Okay, I'm going to straighten my legs. I'm going to sit up nice and tall. And you're going to 